Hello everyone. Some of you may have seen me unboxing a Lakeland order a couple of weeks ago or so, and it contained, amongst other things, this traditional gingerbread house kit. A tradition, I think, that's been running since the 1800s, starting in Germany. So this contains gingerbread house pieces, icing sugar, fairy tale folk, chocolate buttons, hundreds and thousands, and an icing bag. All decorations are edible. Oh heck, the gingerbread house will require one egg white and lemon juice or white vinegar to complete. Well, I've got an egg and I've got lemon juice. So that's fine then. Right, let's open it up. It's going to be one of those tricky ones. Oh, is it? I'll just get a knife and slice through the tape. This is the first ever gingerbread house I've assembled. Let's hope it's all intact and not broken. Well, here we have some Pada Zucker. And I see that's icing sugar. It's all in foreign. Probably, probably German that. And then we've got a little box. This could contain the fairy folk. Oh, oh, look at that. I don't know what that is, but it looks cute. <gasps> There's one of the fairy folk, a lady. And we've got a gentleman there. I don't know what he's holding. Possibly a cheap piece of gingerbread. And then we have, what on earth is that? Looks like a deformed person. Right, that's all the fairy folk. And then we've got some smarty type decorations. Hundreds and thousands. The icing bag. And the gingerbread kit itself. So let's get rid of all that. Throw it away. Oh, I've thrown it away, but I think the instructions may be on the box. I'm not sure. So we've got some big pieces. Oh, I can smell the ginger. Oh, it is very ginger smelling. Oh, it's all, all in one piece. Well, several pieces, but all the pieces are intact. And yes, it looks like the instructions will be on the box. To make the icing, you need to whip the egg white until it begins to stiffen and then stir in the packet of sugar. Just says the packet. I'm assuming it means the whole packet and nothing but the packet. Seems an awful lot. 250 grams. It will be icing sugar this. Don't know whether just to put it all in. I'll just I'll just put it all in. It doesn't say add it bit by bit. It's gone a bit lumpy, I think. I'm going to do it by hand. I might need the electric whisk to make it a bit quicker, possibly. But certainly not at this stage, because if I was to put the whisk in now. It's going to be white powder everywhere and I'll have my partner coming home thinking I've been snorting illicit substances, which I uh, would never do. Although they do say sugar is a drug. I'm going to have to get the, um, the mixer, the electric mixer in to speed things up. And to this you add a few drops of lemon juice. So I've got some bottled lemon juice here. Now let's open it up. There we go. A few drops. Right, that's a few drops, I think. There we are. Yes, I think to finish the job, so we've got some nice smooth icing. I'm going to 
get the mixer again and blend it for a minute or so to make sure it's very well mixed in. Now it doesn't tell you to do this at this stage, but I'm assuming I put the icing in the icing bag. Now I'll need to cut the end of this, but I'm going to put the icing in. It's quite, mm, it's quite stiff and sticky. It's going to be tricky that. I want to try and get it as far down in the bag as I can. Obviously I'll squeeze it down. Oof. Right here. I don't know if I've ever used an icing bag. Oh no, I have. I tell a lie, folks. At school, I did some feather icing. And unlike the people who were on the Bake Off, who should have known better, feather icing isn't icing that looks like feathers. It's a technique. Basically, you, um, you ice the top of a cake or a biscuit or something with some icing and then you pipe onto it in lines, a different color icing, or it can be sort of a jam um, compote type thing. And then as far as I remember, you take a, a knife over the lines and then they, they create this sort of feather design. Right, I'll pause the camera. So obviously I'm going to have to get every little bit of this icing into the icing bag. Well, I have to say I've made the right balls up of getting the icing into the bag. It's, uh, what a mess. Anyway, let's see what we have to do now. Fill the four gaps in the square foundation base with icing and insert the large A-shaped gingerbread pieces. Right, well, here are the, definitely the A-shaped gingerbread pieces. So I'm assuming, why has it got holes in it? I would have thought that would have, there, no. Oh, I'm just gonna have to look at the box, hang on. Right, okay, yes, is that, yes. Okay, this is the base. For some reason it's got lots of holes in it. Um, oh, possibly there for, mm, those holes I think are to insert something into. Oh, I I'm gonna make a right mess of this folks. I was gonna say a rude word. Squeeze the icing onto the edges, oh no, fill the four gaps in the square foundation base with icing. Therefore, get right, I'm gonna to have to put this on a plate, I think. Okay, dokie, well a plate wasn't big enough, so um, I'm using this baking tray. So I'm supposed to fill, one, two, three, four, five. I'm supposed to fill. Oh, this is too complicated. Just buy them ready-made, folks. I'm supposed to fill Squeeze icing onto the, no, fill, it says, fill the four gaps in the square foundation base with icing and insert the large A-shaped, right, I'm gonna do some inserting first. Now, let me just check the box again. Mm -hmm. I think, yes, yes, yes. I think this part here, can you see it, folks? Because I can't see what I'm doing. I can't see my viewfinder. It's, it's, this is going to be an absolute car crash. I think that is for the tree. And so these form... Oh, that way around. Oh, that's it. Right. Okie dokie. I think I'm getting it. But to fill... Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm already fed up with it, folks. If I fill those, it's just going to, what's going to happen to them? I'm going to use up most of my icing. Oh, I've wasted loads at the top. This, this seems ridiculous. Um, oh, Deary me. If I, 
it does say fill the holes but I'm, not, I'm trying not to put too much because I feel I'm going to need icing for some other assembly for this uh, gingerbread house after doing this I probably will not want to look at another piece of gingerbread again because I'm, I'm, I'm already very agitated by it I thought this would be a lovely little Christmas project but no they have to overcomplicate things okay well that's all I'm going to put there and then you take the A pieces here and attach them, uh, squeeze icing into the, no hang on well it says insert, so I do insert the large A shaped gingerbread pieces okay alright I can see how this might might work <sighs> hang on folks as you can see the icing's coming out the wrong end of the bag Oh, I bet Fanny Craddock doesn't have this trouble. Well, she doesn't have any troubles now, bless her. But um, when she was doing her cookery programmes, I might have to lift... Oh, no. <laughs> it's, it feels fairly soft, this gingerbread, to be honest. OK, so there's that. Squeeze icing onto the edges of the A-frame and attach the roof sections gently press down until the roof pieces are secure and the icing has begun to harden well I think it's probably starting to harden now oh dear right I'll try and turn it so you can see I mean I hope Anthea Turner's not watching you see oh heck in blue Peter it's all prepared for them I expect my hands in the way now <laughs> oh no it's not <laughs> I hate this Those kits that have got the pre-mixed icing in little plastic containers, I think they're better, <laughs> especially for a novice. Oh, that's not even sticking to the gingerbread. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what an absolute shambles of... A video this is anyway quick quick oh 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 come on wow how did that happen I, I got a bit of divine inspiration a bit of help because that worked oh it's all coming out the, look it's coming out the top Ooh. God. <laughs> oh there we go there, 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 there. I've got the technique just keep an even pressure as you're squeezing oh oh this silly tablecloth not very good I, I just got a cheap Christmassy tablecloth to put on my table to stop icing going over it right and then oh, I'm gonna have to put my icing bag down hang on okay let's attach the uh, <laughs> roof oh dear if you can hear any licking in the background, oh, dogs and children never work with dogs and animals. Dogs and children and menopausal men. I think I'm having a menopause. I mean, I think men, men can have menopauses now anyway, folks. Apparently men can have periods. Um, men can chest feed. Um, just try and, try and, I hate having sticky stuff on my fingers. Oh, I just do oh. So what you see, the trouble is it's starting to harden before I've even finished. Oh, oh, I, need, I need a cloth or something for my fingers. I've got a bit of kitchen roll. Oh, dearie me. I've got it. Look, that's going to leak. That roof's going to leak unless I... What's on the picture? Oh, icing goes on the top to fill that gap. Does it go around the edges as well? Well, even in the picture, it shows a bit of bleed through with the icing. I don't know how you're supposed to eat this. This will just get a bit... I mean, I think that's pretty solid. It's pretty solid, but it's... it's. Oh, I've got a... Oh, my gable end, it's leaning inwards. Typical Barrett build. Right, I've pushed it in a bit. <laughs> oh, God. Right, oh, that's an absolute shambles. 
Allow the gingerbread house to dry for approximately 30 minutes before decorating with chocolate buttons and fairy tale folk. What about the tree? What about the tree, folks? I've got to, have, I've got to stick the tree in, haven't I? I sh but that would have been better. The tree does have a bit of decorating on it. How are you supposed to... Oh, this is... I'm going to have to shove... The tree's not going to fit in there because I need more, more icing. Oh, it's all coming down the... <laughs> oh, I hate this. I hate this. This is not going to become an annual Christmas tradition. This is a one-off. Oh, that's not enough. Oh. Come on. There we go. I'm sure that tree should have a should have a bigger stalk, perhaps. I don't know. Anyway, the bits of icing that are falling all around, that's just dusting of snow, that's what I'm saying, and I'm sticking to that. Okie dokie. Right. Well there's the basic construction done. And then so that's that done. Okay. I've got to wait 30 minutes for I don't think I'll need 30 minutes, but wait a little while until the icing has hardened. And then to decorate the gingerbread house, to create a fine icing line, water your icing down very slightly. <laughs> but I've put it in the bag. Oh no. <laughs> Where is this made? I bet it's German. I shouldn't have filled the icing bag with that sticky stuff. That's why it's all gone wrong, folks. It didn't say that. I should have I should have just applied the icing, possibly with a knife or something. Then, once the icing's watered down, put it in the bag. That's why it's an absolute mess. Well, I'm going to try and... What do I have to add to it? A bit of water. A teaspoon. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Okay, now I'm going to uh, decorate the gingerbread house exactly as it looks on the packet. Uh, I've watered it down a bit, the, the icing, and to fill in the gap... Oh no, that's too water. <laughs> that's too watery! Oh you... I thought it was fine. Uh, there we are. Oh, that's a bit better. There we are. Still too watery. So I'll put some icing on the top there. And then we're going to do some lovely sort of hexagonal pieces. Yes, this is turning out much better. No, that's wrong. <laughs> As you can see, you can pipe some lovely fine lines. That's wrong. Onto the, the roof of the gingerbread house. So you can see how lovely that's going to look. And the other side, we can do, we can do another sort of design. We can just go up here and see. And this is the way professionals do it. As you can see, it's, it's coming out of the top as well as the bottom, but that saves time. And as you can see, and don't worry, folks, if it looks not quite like the illustration on the box. The advice I've got for you is it all comes out the same, doesn't it? <laughs> I had images of me doing a lovely Christmas video and, and people would be in the comments saying, Oh, that's marvellous. That looks much better than the box. You're so talented, Roger. You can turn your hand to anything, can't you? Well, I can turn my hand to anything, I, I do admit. Doesn't mean to say that <laughs> it's going to be any good. Oh, how do you do the squiggly lines? Uh, you can't. I'm just going to have to do straight lines. We'll just have to pretend the snow is melting. It's The icing, most of it's going on my hand. Yeah, my advice, folks... Get those kits that have got little plastic bottles with the icing in. I think they would be nicer and easier to use. This is an absolute... I, oh, I've got icing all over myself. Right, so that's part of it. Now I'm going to stick some of the little sweeties 
to the icing. So we can uh, just stick the little chocolate sweeties that look like Smarties. I'll try and alternate. You don't want two colours the same next to one another. That would never do, folks, would it? There we are. It is, it is starting to look just like the illustration on the box now, isn't it? Put some down here. You must do this, of course, before the icing has dried. Wow, this looks brilliant. I never knew I had an artistic bent. Um, oh, it's, oh, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm sure this is going to taste as good as, it, as good as it looks, isn't it? Look at this. Beautiful. Oh, nearly put a pink next to a pink. We can't have two pinks together, can we? That would never do. There we are. Little purple one. I'm going to have to open my other little bag. Put a green one down there. Oh, I'm starting to feel that I've missed my vocation in life. This really is quite astounding what I've managed to create here. It's beautiful. Oh, it's, it's starting to take shape. I think you'll agree. Oh, heck, I forgot all about this side. Heck. Let's pop the... They are smarty type sweets. Whoops. Beautiful. I'm going to hold one back because I've noticed they've got uh, one on the front of the house, on the gable end. Oh dear, I think I've used all the most colourful smarty sweets on the other side. Oh yes, it's... It's starting to come together and look absolutely lovely, isn't it? Can you see now? Just, I hope yours is looking as good as mine. If you're, I hope you're not following along at the same time as me because you'll have seen I made a big mistake. And there's half a Smarty Sweet there. I better eat it. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a Smarty. And uh, let's move that up there. Oh, that's beautiful. Now I notice on the front, we've got a lovely little circle just here with a smarty in the middle. So let's make a circle, shall we? Just squeeze some of more of the icing out and make a delicate circle here. There we are, that's perfect. And then shove the smarty, oops, in the middle. That's just like the box. And then, well, there's more of a design round. I can't do that. So, um, right, I'll put some icing here because we need something for the fairy tale folk to stand on. Otherwise, they'll fall down. So, I'll just. and a bit here as well. There we are. A bit of snow. That's absolutely beautiful. I haven't even decorated the tree, and there should be some, there should be some smarties on the tree, but. I'll just decorate it with some nice fine um, strands of the icing to symbolise a lovely little dusting of snow or something. Oh, that, that yeah, it's, it's looking lovely. And I'll put some more icing in there. That's beautiful. A bit more on the tree because it has been snowing. We could put some more on the roof of the house as well, but... That'll do. And yes, making it authentic, the snow is going to sort of go down the side. There's plenty of um, snow there to stand on the fairy tale folk, isn't there? Oh, that's looking absolutely delicious. Just a bit more on the top there. Right, um, I think I need to wash my hands now. Okie dokie, so I'm going to take my fairy tale folk. I think this person is a shepherd or shepherdess. So um, there you go. You can stick to the gable end, try and hold it up. And then we've got an approximation of a sheep. Possibly that is. 
Oops, I've lost her head. Oh, the lady's head's come off. Hang on. We now have a, we have a headless lady. So she is going to have to go right up against the tree and then the head, nobody would ever know. There you go, she's lost her head, but you would never know that, would you? Let's be more careful with the chap. He has remained intact. He can stand there. Hopefully, are you going to stand upright or are you going to fall down? I think he's going to fall down. Please stand up. No, I think that's going to fall flat. He's going to have to get propped up by the tree, I think. There we are. And then finally, to complete the masterpiece, we've got a little packet of hundreds and thousands. So we just pop on the hundreds of thousands all over onto the tree. They're not even sticking to anything. They're just going everywhere. I'll be getting the vacuum out shortly. Just go, just stay on there. <laughs> just, I'm getting more hundreds and thousands underneath my fingernails than I am on the snow here. Um, it's a big, well, it's a quite big clump of blue. We'll pretend that's sheep poo or something. Um, so that, that's the sort of effect you can get. I mean, I'm very impressed with that. If I was three years old, I'd be very impressed, but a little bit older. Um, I'm trying to, I don't know how on earth I've got all these wasted hundreds and thousands. And they just will not stay. I should have maybe, mm. let's risk moving it folks. It's, oh, I think I've, it's stuck. <laughs> it's, uh, yes, it's a bit stuck. There we go. Oh, let's be. I want to get some, oh, it's all falling down. Oh, oh, heck. No, I can't do that because it's all coming to bits, folks. Anyway, there we go. What an absolute treat. I've really enjoyed making my traditional gingerbread house kit. Okay, folks, it's time for the final reveal. This is what I was aiming for, and I, I expected to get something very similar. And here is what I've managed to produce. And it's hardly any different, is it? It's indistinguishable from the picture on the box. We can see that the snow on the Christmas tree is almost crushing this lady here, but it is keeping her head in place. And it's about to envelop this gentleman with the comb over. The shepherdess here is tending to her one flock of sheep. We've still got a lot of hundreds and thousands left. I can't even pick them up, they're so small. So um, most of those have ended up on the kitchen floor. But as I gently turn the house around, you can see the expert construction of the sides and that icing is, is hardening now. So I expect in a few hours, it will be all hard and ready to break up and eat. But yes, that, I'm so, so pleased with myself. I've done an excellent job, I think. I hope my video has inspired you to build your own gingerbread house this year and perhaps make it an annual Christmas tradition. Build it with friends, family, loved ones, or children. I expect any child under five could have made a better job of building a gingerbread house than I have. This is my first and my last. So when everything's hardened, I'll be dismantling this, popping it into a Tupperware box and enjoying it over the next few days with a lovely hot cup of cocoa or some coffee. If you have any comments or questions, don't bother because I'm absolutely useless at this. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing me completely ruin this lovely gingerbread kit. And if you want one just like this, Lakeland Limited may still have some in stock. So until the next time, have a happy Christmas and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.